Zane Clodfelter with Otters TV, here with the Director of Marketing and Community Relations for the Ev Evansville Otters, Elspeth Urbina. Hey, we're going to reveal the promotional schedule, correct? Yes, and we're really excited. We've got a lot of fun stuff planned this season. Um, we've got Girl Scout Night and Boy Scout Night coming back. Um, Princess Night, which is always a big hit. This year we're celebrating Bossy Field and Evan the Otter's birthday on the same night. Um, it's a superhero themed birthday party. We think that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, we've seen Evan the Otter as a superhero in past games on Superhero Night, so might as well just make it his birthday as well, right? Right, exactly. He liked it so much that we figured we'd keep that as his birthday theme. So. Well, anything that Evan the Otter wants will <laughs> oblige, right? Right, exactly. And I know you've been working extremely hard, as have others in the front office staff, to get this schedule put together. What were some of the challenges and some of the things you were trying to do when laying out the year? Sometimes it's just a matter of finding out exactly what the sponsors would like. We want to make sure we do things their way, um, make sure they're happy with every small detail. Whether that takes us a while to get the schedule out, you know, sometimes that happens. But once it's out, we feel that everybody's confident that things will run the way that they want it, and we're happy with it too. I know last year, a couple of the big popular nights was Boy Scout and Girl Scout Night. Yes, yes. And actually, I helped put those on in 2015, and I'm back to help with those again this year. Um, those are always a big hit, lots of fun for the scouts and our players who do the post-game um, clinic on the field with them. It's always a good time. Yeah, and German Heritage Night too, that's coming back yes. really successful last year. Yes. And with the German Heritage here in Evansville, it makes a lot of sense. Yes, we're excited for that. Um, that was a big hit last year. We've got our chef Chris Gunn back again. Um, I think he's going to do the kraut balls for yeah, us. those are popular. An exciting addition. So yeah, we're looking forward to that too. What are some other dates that people really need to pay attention to? Um, let's see, we've got ES for Everyone Night coming back. Um, Fellowship Day we'll have again. Princess Night and Superhero Night, we've already mentioned. Um, what about the centennial for Vandenberg County? How yes, exciting is that? Yes. 200 years old. That is actually older than our ballpark. So, <laughs> One of the few things in Evansville yeah. I feel maybe is older than Bossy Field is Vandenberg County itself. Yes. Um, yeah, that'll be on May uh, 12th. Mm -hmm. um, it ties into opening night weekend, which yeah. is a lot of fun. We're excited and um, we'll have fireworks that night. Total, we've got seven fireworks shows this wow. season so far, so we're looking forward to having those too. And that's always subject to change because we've been here both a long time. Typically, we have a date set, but then we have sponsors last minute True. that like to add shows. So who knows? There could be even more than seven by the end of the year. True, absolutely. And anybody you know that wants to come on board, we'll take them at any time. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be set in stone right now, but yeah, that's what we have so far. But it is. There could be additions later. You're from Evansville. I'm from Evansville. <laughs> we just mentioned Vandenberg County. What is your favorite thing about Vandenberg County? Oh gosh. See, kind of. I didn't mean to put her on the <laughs> put her on the spot here. You can you can take the easy way way out and say Bossy Field. You know, I want to say Bossy Field. I moved to Bloomington for about two years, and I was ready to come home. I just miss home. It feels like home. Um, but Bossy Field has a special place in my heart. My first professional job was here I met my fiance here he proposed here yeah. so it does have some sentimental ties to the stadium I love bossy field but I think the one thing that makes it unique and why Vanderbilt County is so awesome are the people that come through the gates each and every game the people who you've met yes. over the years that kind of makes it special too and then we are talking we've mentioned a lot of our cool promotional nights is there a promotional night in the past that you've worked that just really sticks out to you Yes, uh, the first ever Princess Night that we did in 2015, yeah. it was a blast. We had tons of girls out here in their costumes. Um, we did the costume parade on the field, and it just warmed my heart. It was so much fun. Hundreds, awesome. hundreds of princesses that there night. There were lots. Yeah. There were lots. And if I remember correctly, it was a double header. So luckily for the players, Elspeth is so good <laughs> that she made all the players' walk-up songs princess themed. And so we got to hear them not one game, but two games. And I know the players loved it. They, <laughs> yeah, it was fun. And they were all their own prints on the video board yeah. with their headshots. I had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, well, we're, we can't wait for the season. I can't believe we're less than a month away. Can you? Yep. I mean, it's finally starting to warm up. So if they want more information, where can they go? Uh, visit our website, evansvilleotters.com. Uh, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter or call the front office, 812-435-8686. Uh, Alrighty, that's Elspeth, and I'm Zane with Otters TV.